Other news we're following tonight, there is a new man in charge at the Texas Department of Public Safety. Today in Austin, the department's new director was sworn in by the governor. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you so Freeman F. Martin took the oath of office during a special ceremony today. Martin becomes the 14th DPS director and the first Texas Ranger to ascend to the position. During his speech today, Martin promised to tackle the challenges facing the state, starting with securing the southern border. Texas is a law and order state, and we will not give up one square inch of this state to cartels, to gangs, to violent offenders, or, uh, or, or to crime. We're going to make sure that our local partners are successful. And I know the Houston Police Chief is here. We have Waller County, Harris County, so many of our local partners and so many good initiatives that we have working right now, but we're going to make it better. We're going to work with our federal partners. And for once in all, we're going to secure the southern border with Mexico. Martin replaces outgoing DPS director Steve McCraw, who announced his retirement earlier this year. Now, the time of transition comes with a lot of questions, especially for the families and children of teachers killed in the Uvalde school shooting. Many of the DPS leaders in charge that very day have either resigned or retired, but could they still be held accountable? The News 4i team's Jordan Elder joins us after spending the day looking into that and how the department's new leadership will play a role in immigration. Texas DPS is getting a new leader weeks before we're expected to see massive changes at the southern border. This is Colonel Freeman Martin, someone Governor Greg Abbott says he's been working with for years on issues like immigration and school safety. He has knowledge at, at every level and every subject matter. Martin making it known that immigration will be one of his top priorities. Today, Texas faces the most significant public safety threats and homeland security threats of our entire lifetime. And for once in all, we're going to secure the southern border with Mexico. Political experts have told us they believe large numbers of migrants will try and cross into the U.S. before the inauguration in January. After that, President-elect Trump has promised mass deportations, and Texas is expected to be on the front lines yet again. An unsecured international border with Mexico by far is the most significant public safety threat and homeland security threat. Outgoing DPS Director Stephen McCraw called immigration a 30 year sin when he spoke with reporters after the ceremony. He says there has never been enough emphasis on securing the border, but gave props to the Biden administration on the work they've done in recent months to help bring crossing numbers down. <laughs> McCraw hasn't always been met with applause and cheering. He was the state's top law enforcement officer during the Uvalde school shooting in 2022. Families of those victims have long called for him to step down even after a DOJ review identified cascading failures from law enforcement, McCraw remained at his post. Documents show he actually got a 15% raise, which a Uvalde Leader News column called stomach turning. DPS is still fighting in order to release their documents and footage from that day. Attorneys tell us that if evidence does come to light, McCraw could face lawsuits for his role in the Robb Elementary response, but he'd likely invoke official immunities if that happens. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder. And there are still many unanswered questions that we're working to find out for you. One of the big ones, how exactly will DPS function next year when it comes to immigration? They've acted as another immigration enforcement agency over the last few years, but it's still unclear how their role will change as the incoming Trump administration promises more help. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to get all the latest news right here.